Today we can discuss about the main types of OET letters. As you know that OET writing subtest requires you to plan and write a letter to another healthcare professional. The task requires you to use your skill to ensure the recipient fully understands what they need to do to continue the care. So usually there are three types of OET letter. First one is referral letter. Second one is transfer letter and the last one is discharge letter. So we can discuss about a referral letter first. A referral letter is usually written by a healthcare professional to another healthcare professional with a request for specific care, for the care or management. Here the patient requires a special treatment. So here we introduce this patient to another medical professional for the very first time. A referral letter means it refers the patient to another person. As you know, we are the registered nurses and we refer the patient to a community health nurse, a dietitian, general practitioner, physiotherapist or a pediatrician. Here, we transfer the patient to another facility or secondary care provider. So after the treatment, the secondary care provider will send the patient to our facility because here we still remain as the primary care provider. We can identify a referral letter from the writing task. If you see something like write a letter of referral or if you see something like write a letter to refer. You can consider it as a referral letter. Here we refer a patient to another person. So when you write a referral letter, you need to include this in the introduction paragraph. That is, you can start the referral letter by saying, I'm writing to refer Mr. X or I'm writing to refer Mr. John. Here's a sample introduction paragraph. I'm writing to refer Mr. David who has been diagnosed with COPD. He requires for the assessment and management. He is being discharged today. So basically, there are no much differences for discharge or transfer letter, but there are some slight changes. Let's see what are those changes. Now let's see the discharge letter in detail. Here we write discharge letter when a patient is getting discharged from the hospital to another place or facility or to home. A discharge letter can be written to general practitioner, old age home or a community nurse. You can identify the discharge letter from the case note or it can also be given at the end of the notes, I mean in both the writing task. Something like write a letter of discharge or discharge letter. So make sure to include the same I mean discharge in the introductory paragraph. So you can write it as, I am writing to refer Mr. John and you can continue like that and finally you can say he is being discharged today or he will be discharged tomorrow or she is planned to be discharged on so on so date. Now let's see more about what is transfer letter. We usually write a transfer letter when we transfer a patient from our facility to another facility. So it can be addressed to the nurse or a doctor of the hospital or the facility or the nursing home. So a transfer can be from one hospital to another hospital or it can be from one department to another department or it can also be from one facility to another facility. Here we hand over the complete care to the other department or hospital or the facility. So here we hand over the complete care of the patient to another department or to another hospital or to another facility. So here we need to understand that we have completed the treatment of the patient. So there is no treatment left for this patient. 
you can identify a transfer letter from the case node or it can also be given at the end of the node. So like transfer to new town hospital, which can be seen above the writing task, or you can see something like write a letter of transfer in the writing task. This can also be treated like a referral letter. So you can start like I'm writing to refer Mr. John who has been diagnosed with so and so thing. He has been transferred today or he has been transferred. Now let's discuss about non case letter. If you transfer any patient who is known to the recipient or the reader, such kinds of cases are considered as non case. How do we find a non case letter? If you see that the patient is being transferred or sent to his GP or patient's GP, you can see something like Ms. Sarah's GP or Mr. John's GP. So you can consider those cases as non case letters. Or if you see that the patient is sent back to the same facility. Or if you see the patient's address is same as the reader or recipient's address. Please do not decide a case note as non case if you see that if it is written to a local doctor or a local nurse. However, if you see that if the letter is written to patient GP or his or her GP or if the patient's address and the reader's address are same, then we can consider the case as non case. When you write a non case letter, you cannot simply start by writing. I am writing to refer because we use the term refer if we transfer any patient to the recipient for the very first time. So we do not use the term refer in non case letter. Instead, you need to start the non case letter by starting. I am writing to update the current health status of Mr. John who has been diagnosed so and so thing. Or you can write it as I am writing to inform regarding. Mr. John, it is also important to note that you never use send back, transfer back, refer back or return back in non-case letter. Thank you.